Inkfrog Amazon integration. Import from Amazon and list to eBay. You must have a MWS Professional Amazon account in order to use this integration. Sign up for an account at inkfrog.com. Select Get Started. Next, sign into your eBay account. Select the I Agree button to allow eBay to share your eBay data with Inkfrog. Once you're returned to Inkfrog, you will see your eBay ID noted within the account. Once you're within your new Inkfrog account, navigate to Settings, then Store Connector, and select the Add a Store button. Then choose Amazon. Enter your Amazon seller display name, then click Continue. Sign in to Amazon Seller Central. Follow the prompts to add Amazon to your Inkfrog account. Once you return to Inkfrog, your Amazon account connection is complete. Next, select the Settings button to set up your sync settings. If you're tracking inventory within Amazon, you're able to sync inventory from Inkfrog to Amazon as well as Amazon to Inkfrog. Inkfrog also offers the ability to sync orders to Amazon. When sync orders is enabled, Inkfrog will create an order within Amazon if your products ship using FBA. For products not shipping through FBA, the orders will not be created within Amazon and must be managed from within Inkfrog or eBay. If you select Settings to the right of Sync Orders, you're able to select the shipping speed for all FBA orders. You're also able to offer a lower available quantity of products on eBay than the quantity that you have available on Amazon using the Allow Separate Inventory Quantity on eBay setting. If you enable Separate Inventory, the options to restock eBay inventory as well as automatically restock eBay inventory are offered. When enabled, the auto restock eBay inventory option requires values for when quantity reaches set to fixed amount of. If you choose to use the eBay quantity import limit when you import products from Amazon, the eBay quantity will automatically be set to this amount as long as the Amazon quantity value is at or below this amount. If this field is left blank, the Amazon quantity value will import. You're also able to sync title, description, and pricing from Inkfrog to Amazon as well as Amazon to Inkfrog. If you intend on making any changes to the product title, description, or pricing for your eBay listings, we recommend turning off these settings both ways. If your Amazon titles exceed 80 characters, we also recommend turning off title sync both ways since eBay will truncate titles at 80 characters. You also have the option of sharing your eBay sale prices with Amazon. Leave this set to ignore if you do not want to share the sale prices. If your Amazon product runs out of stock, is deleted, or is hidden, Inkfrog can end the associated eBay listing early with these sync settings enabled. If you choose to run auction listings on eBay instead of fixed price listings, you may want to consider using Disable Product on Bid. If there are variants of a product on Amazon that you do not wish to share with eBay, enable Allow Disabling Variants. And in the Edit Listing page within Inkfrog, you're able to dis disable specific variants of a product. To finalize your sync settings, select Save Settings. You're able to return to your sync settings at any time to reconfigure the sync rules. Please carefully consider how the changes that you may make will affect your existing and future product listings. Next, we'll move on to listing settings. Select settings in the navigation menu, then choose store connector, then select the import button to access your default listing setup pages. In this step, we'll be setting up the default listing settings for your eBay products. These settings will create default shipping, payment, and return profiles within your Inkfrog account. The profiles may be edited at any time under Profiles within the Inkfrog account. 
Select your country, enter your zip code and your location. Select your eBay market and choose continue. Select the parent eBay categories that your products will fall under. The subcategories are addressed just prior to product import and future steps. Based upon your Amazon product titles, InkFrog will attempt to map your products to appropriate eBay subcategories that are selected within the step. You are able to select 0 to 5 categories, then select Continue. Enter your PayPal email address. Checkout instructions are not necessary unless there are special circumstances, such as with custom-made products, where there is an extended wait period before the item will be shipped to your customer. Select Continue. Select your shipping type, black, calculated, or a combination, depending on whether you ship domestic only or domestic and internationally. Select your handling time. This is the shortest time between receiving payment from your customer until the product is in the hands of the shipping carrier. It's best to be realistic and not overpromise on your handling time. Choose your domestic shipping services. You're able to select Add Additional Shipping Service if you'd like to offer your customers a selection at checkout. Choose your international shipping services. You're also able to select Add Additional Shipping Service if you would like to offer your customers a selection at checkout. If you do not ship internationally, leave the international setting as is and select Continue. Set up your default return policy settings. If you do not accept returns, simply unselect the returns accepted box. If you do accept returns, select the number of days the item must be returned within. eBay recommends 30 days. Choose how the refund will be offered, who will pay for return shipping, and whether or not you charge a restocking fee. Add any return policy text and select Finish. Once Finish is selected, InkFrog will begin building a list of products available to import from your store. When the build of that list is complete, you're able to import all or manually select which products to import. This completes the setup for Amazon integration within your InkFrog account. Please proceed to the next tutorial, which will cover selecting your Amazon products for import, mapping to eBay subcategories, completing the import, and launching the listings to eBay.